So next we're going to continue our example looking at uh, the section um, shown in the left with a width of 12 inches and a height of 20. Um, we are working on a moment curvature plot and we're calculating our second uh, necessary point um, immediately after cracking. Um, so for this we're going to use our cracked transformed section properties. So we'll use our cracked transformed section properties and uh, we can use the, the section shown underneath. So essentially we'll only consider the concrete that's in compression, so with a height of KD and a width of B, and the steel that's in tension with the transformed steel, so N times AS. Um, so the first thing that we can do is we can calculate our uh, depth of KD. So we'll determine our value uh, KD, or the depth of our, our neutral axis here. Um, so from mechanics, we know that our neutral axis is located at the, uh, the centroid for elastic behavior. Um, so this will translate to, let's say, K, uh, our B times KD times the distance from the centroid of our uh, area here to, the, to our neutral axis. So we're looking for um, this distance here. Uh, which is KD over 2, and then set this equal to everything, uh, or the areas times distance below. So we'll have our area of uh, N times AS, and then times D minus KD. Uh, so now we will uh, solve this expression for KD we can first plug in all the values that we know. So we know that we have a base width of 12 inches times uh, KD squared and all this divided by 2 equals 8.1 times our AS which is 2.37 square inches times our D, which is 17.6 minus KD. Um, so we can rearrange this and simplify it uh, for a quadratic and we'll get uh, 6 KD squared plus 19.2 KD minus 338.4 equal to 0. Uh, so this is a quadratic and we can use the quadratic formula and we'll solve for KD and find KD equal to 6.08 inches. Next we'll find our I cracked transformed. Uh, so we'll use our parallel axis theorem again um, and except in this case we'll use our uh, cracked transformed section. Um, so our I cracked transformed is going to equal uh, 1 12th our base which is 12 inches times our height which in this case is 6.08 inches to the third uh, plus our area which is 12 inches times 6.08 inches and then we need our, our distance which is just going to be KD over 2. So 6.08 inches over 2 and then squared. Now we need our steel component. So our steel will have 8.1 is our N times our area 2.37 inches to the squared or inches to the second. Um, times our distance, so 17.6 minus 6.08 and this squared. And we can then find our I crack transformed to be equal to uh, 3,460 inches to the fourth. 
Finally, we can find our after cracking curvature. Uh, so we'll just do that using uh, our curvature equals m over ei. So our m in this case is our m cracking, which we found uh, in our previous video, um, to be 400 and 44.1. Inches. Uh, our EC, which we found to be 3600 KSI, and our I crack transformed, which is 3460 inches to the fourth. So then this will equal uh, 3.56 times 10 to the negative fifth radians per inch. So now we can plot this point on our moment curvature plot. Uh, so you can see before we found our M cracking and our before, cur or before cracking curvature. Um, so now we just found our after cracking curvature. So we can just plot it here and we'll have a straight line um, in between. Uh, so this is essentially the um, curvature that will happen when we go uh, from before cracking to after cracking without any additional moment. Um, so in our next videos, we'll look at how to, com how to compute the rest of the points of the moment curvature plot.